is where it gets very exciting because the universe, the higher dimensional parts of you, basically understand this shift. And so a number of things are occurring in this shift. If I was to be very simple, there is tremendous waves of light coming forth. If you just have been paying attention in the last year, the amount of solar flares, coronal mass ejections, huge solar winds, charged particles, cosmic and x-rays from the center of the galaxy, and those coming from the sun. As these great bursts of light occur, something very interesting happens. It more or less, this new wave of light comes in, and it creates a, a new baseline. The next wave of light comes in. It simply builds on top of the last baseline. So there's this enormous loosening up of the density of that third dimension that's occurring. But in that space, let's just say there are two waves of light, to keep it simple. One of those waves of light is passing through the Earth, the solar system, everywhere, but most specifically, it's passing through you. And it knows that that baggage, I have a funny nose and I'm embarrassed by it, and all of the other accumulated, I'm not smart, I'm not good, I'm not okay, that we've accumulated. It simply knows that all of those expressions were never your expressions. You see, every one of your not okays that we walk around with, in absolute real terms, was someone outside of you saying to you, you have a funny nose. And even though it didn't feel good to you, we accepted that and then walked around with it and then didn't like it and denied it and then didn't like that and hid it away in our unconsciousness. But we accepted an external opinion of what and who we are. Those external opinions were from somebody was having a bad life one day. And they simply blurted out, and you said, okay. And it's like being given a pair of shoes or a coat that's too small, and then putting it on and walking around with it, because after all, it came from my mom, dad, teacher, minister in life, and they love me. There are no bad people, and let's just bad intentions. But they only knew what they knew, and then their best interest and your best interest, this is how we do things. You're going to be a lawyer when you grow up. And yet, that internal guidance system in the heart said, I'm going to play the guitar. And all of a sudden, you are accepting a new truth that really isn't your truth and then carrying it through your life. What is so exciting about these this first wave of energy of the two, it knows the difference between who you are. So you can't be not okay. It's impossible for you to not be okay. And it knows the who you are, and it knows the who you are not. So one of the things that's happening in this process is you are losing your memories. You are forgetting much of who you are. And it's happening in a really amazing way because I've been watching this for years. Basically, this wave of light passes through you. And many of those moments that you hold in that unconscious space where you were embarrassed or made it, said, it, said something and got laughed at, the universe knows that those have no real value to you. So they're just like rocks in your backpack that you haven't looked at for years and years and years. They have no value, and you haven't cleaned them out. And so where they have no value, and you're not arguing to keep them, the universe, this first wave of light, is passing through you and clearing away all of those memories, just simply taking them all out of your space. And what makes it so interesting is when those memories are removed, you don't remember that you ever even had them. So you're being cleared of lots and lots of stuff. That's partly how this shift is working and how the wakening up of everybody is happening. You're just simply being 
unburied from all of the rocks in the backpack. But there are some rocks that we argue for. We have a tendency to argue for our limitations, our own fears, our own beliefs and habits in many ways. And the universe says, no problem. I won't take those away from you if you really like them for your creative process because I adore you and you have free will as a creator. I won't interfere with anything that you do. And so there are many things that are being taken away and there are numbers of things, actually very few, but very important to many, that the universe isn't dealing with. At the same time, the second wave of light is passing through and it is rebuilding you, realigning you, rewiring you, simply reconnecting you, remembering you in such a way that you are starting to know yourself in that higher multidimensional aspect of you. You are starting to reconnect with you. You're going home. In that process, it's very, very fascinating to watch. But as it all occurs, there is this one little element, those limitations that we each choose to argue for. And as we argue for them, they continue to begin to become more uncomfortable. And so this is the place where people are saying, geez, I'm not sleeping and I've got an upset stomach and, and I have this worry in my space and I can't clearly identify it. To a great extent, as this new second wave of light begins to pass through you and starts to put you back together in well-being, where you are arguing for your limitations, it's like having a rock in the middle of your your awareness. You know, remember that I'm not a uh, funny nose and mental body dis-ease and then when it drops into the emotional body, the hyphen goes away pretty much, and it just becomes this ease. But if you ponder and think, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, long enough, it will move into a state of density, into physicalness. The hyphen will completely go away, and that concept, that thought, that fear, that worry, drops into the physical body as disease. And so that space never starts, your illness never starts in the physical. It starts with that thought that became an electromagnetic field that started out as a little pebble and then grew to a major rock sitting in the middle of your stream. And then the second wave begins to say, I'm going to re-enlighten you. And that electromagnetic field of great well-being starts to flow. And as it flows down that path of the stream, it begins to hit that rock. And I guarantee you one thing, that second wave of light will prevail in this experience. And so you start to get more uncomfortable and more off balance. And the more you dig in your heels, the more the light pushes against it. And eventually either wake up to the place that says, what am I arguing for this limitation for? and just simply take a breath and it's gone, or you begin to have some challenges. Those are really the two choices. As this game unfolds, more and more awareness is being brought into the game. And so you're beginning to have access to more and more people who say, wow, I was really stuck in that same place, and this is what I did. And you begin to get more options to let go of those limitations. As you begin to play, this third dimension is going away, and this fourth dimension is really a stepping stone that allows you to begin to step into the fifth dimension. When you begin to play in these higher, lighter, faster vibrations that you many times intellectually know and sometimes have experienced, beauty. Have you ever noticed that beauty and Butterflies and the smiles of little babies don't linger with you all day long, but anger or resentment many times does. And so this fourth dimensional space of present time and being able to utilize some tools and skills and enhanced abilities 
new awarenesses begin to let you move through this space without engaging with a lot of the noise that that third dimensional experience is beginning to happen. The noise that you see out and about you to a great extent is really quite wonderful. Just take that with a grain of salt because what is happening is all of the who I am not that we each carry around is beginning to peel away and it's leaving. It's simply disappearing from who you are. The who you are not is leaving. But as it's happening, it's sometimes something where people get a, uh, an awareness of it and they grab a hold of it and they say, why is my divorce of 20 years coming up now? I thought I was over with that and begin to argue with it. Many people are feeling these levels of anger and rage and resentment that they have locked away for lots of years, all beginning to come out. Many people around the world have a very limiting construct to move around within. Some of the very fundamental belief systems are very third dimensional, very rigid, unforgiving, very conditional. This is the truth. Very challenging when that new wave of light begins to say, let me show you the beauty that you are. And it begins to prevail within each one of us. And it starts to push all of that anger out, the resentment out, the hate out. The light will prevail. 